Hi, it's Mike here from musicradiocreative.com. Ever get annoyed with echo on your recordings? Now you can remove it all with D-Reverb and I'll show you how. Okay, so uh, here's a clip I recorded a long time ago uh, in a very echoey room. Let's have a listen. Okay, it's a bit quiet. Let's turn it up, shall we? Favourites, normalise it. And beautiful digital desks as well. It's been a fantastic day. So That was recorded on the internal microphone of a camera, the Sony Alpha A6300 to be exact, uh, but it just won't do uh, for quality recordings at all. So I'm going to show you how D-Reverb now works in the brand new Adobe Audition CC 2019. It's in noise reduction restoration. It's here. It's called D-Reverb. It's fantastic on the default settings. Let's give it a go. And beautiful digital crank this up a little bit more. All you have to do again is change the percentage, much like the denoise effect. You just pull this up. And beautiful digital desks as well. So we'll listen to that versus the original. And beautiful digital desks as well. It's been a fantastic day so far. So you can hear how it's removing a lot of the echo, a lot of the reverb. Uh, with processing focus, you can tell it to focus on low frequencies, mid-range, low and high, or just high end. But the best setting I have found has been focusing on all frequencies. Auto gain will automatically level your audio, but you can choose to switch that off and change the gain of your audio yourself when you apply it you'll see you get a much more reasonable looking waveform. So that's how D-Reverb works in essence. Uh, I'm in a rather large room, not an auditorium, but I am in a room uh, that has a little bit of echo. And I do actually have here with me the AKG C414 XL2. It's a fantastic microphone, it comes in at uh, just over 1000 pounds. So it's a hugely cool studio microphone. Uh, usually I have it set on the hypercardioid setting. It has many uh, different polar patterns on the front of it. Hypercardioid is the best for a sort of big and echoey room. But uh, for this example, I'm going to start recording and I'm going to put it onto omnidirectional, which is probably the worst setting for a big echoey room. And I'm going to start recording into it. So let's do this. Hello, this is Mike on the AKG C414 XL2. I'm talking uh, quite a distance away from it and you can probably hear a lot of echo. All right, there we go. Switching back now uh, to my dynamic microphone and uh, stopping the recording now so I can have a listen to how it sounds. So let's uh, find the audio here. Probably hear a lot of echo. Now, one other thing that I've got going on on this microphone is some compression as well. I'm running it through a DBX166XS, which is also drawing up that echo and that background noise. So let's see how D-Reverb and maybe even a bit of D-Noise fares on this particular section. Probably hear a lot of echo. No doubt about it, there's a computer fan in there, there's echo in there. So let's start out, uh, let's start out with denoise and see how we get on. Probably hear a lot of echo. Probably hear a lot of echo. Done a great job on the background noise computer fan there before. Probably hear a lot of echo. Echo. And then after, so that denoise is really helping. See, it's just pulling out the fan in between my speech. And then we'll run the uh, D-reverb effect, which is the effect I'm focusing on in this tutorial. And we'll start off from the default setting. Probably hear a lot of echo. Switch that D-reverb off. Probably hear a lot of echo. Switch it back on. Probably hear a lot. Crank it up a little bit. Probably hear a lot of echo. Echo. Now, obviously, the further up you go, the more it's going to degrade the quality of the audio. So you want to be careful how high you go. But you can hear with denoise and D-reverb, it's very easy to restore recordings that previously you'd probably have thrown away in the trash can or cut out and thrown on the editing floor. Um, so now denoise, D-reverb in Adobe Audition CC 2019 really do most of the heavy lifting for you. There's not, uh, you know, 10 or 15 different settings that you need to tweak. It's literally one slider. How much D-reverb do you Want. How much denoise do you want? If you want to get a little more advanced, if you know there's a lot of low end echo or low end noise, uh, you can say focus on the low frequencies, or if it's in the high end, you can say focus on the highs or the mids, whatever you like. But they're two of the simplest effects to use and two of the most powerful effects in the brand new Adobe Audition CC 2019. Enjoy using D -re Reverb on your echo chamber audio and let me know how you get on. Maybe send me some samples. Head over to the community. It's always open at community.musicradiocreative.com and drop in some of your D Reverb and D Noise success stories over there. <laughs>